Hey all again, this is Yusuf with another opinion. Today I'm going to review because it's a pretty cool toy. Um, story wise, this guy sucks. Seriously. Uh, he just shows up, has a few good lines, but Otherwise, this guy is of absolutely no importance to the entire Energon or Superlink storyline. Um, what I gathered was pretty much from the wiki, and it's something which didn't even show uh, in Superlink at least. Well, I said I have never seen Energon, but according to his bio, he was some kind of martial arts teacher for Optimus. Whoop de doo. Um, so overall, this guy is a teacher. Most people hate teachers, you know. But we can forgive this guy for the simple fact that he's a cool teacher. He's an old fart, and he's a cool teacher. Perhaps he's a relative to a cup or something. Who knows? This guy looks excellent. He is. One of the energy online who wasn't built around power links or whatever you want to call the call it. Yes, this guy can combine with something, but it's not with other transformers, which makes him cool. Uh, at least for the energy online. Um, I'm go into his vehicle mode now. So see you there. Here we have him in your face, landmine. Um. As you can see, he's some kind of snowplow in this form. A fairly simple uh, little truck with fairly impressive snowplow put in front. But this guy can probably be more described as a Decepticon plow than a snowplow. Because frankly put, I've never seen him in the snow. So pretty much this guy is designed for one thing and that's ramming through the enemy with this massive plow in front. Um, the plow is slightly uh, possible, but it all depends upon how well all of this linkage in inside is done and I can't say I'm too good at getting it the way I really want it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just me, probably. Um, on the rear he is a bit kibblish. You can easily see his arms like right here. Which is too bad, but um, normally you'll not get to see this part. Because this guy normally is shown combined with this guy. Which is his battle station, backpack and otherwise other utility. It's a little um, tracked vehicle. I'm not really sure if he can command it separately. I think he can only use it as base or command thing, but, but not as a separate vehicle. This comes uh, with a rocket launcher, which can fire a missile, but as usual I've removed the missile because it doesn't have anything to his loops. This guy also comes with electronics, lights and sound, but or at least he comes with sounds, but yeah, I removed the batteries because this guy is fairly old and yeah. Letting batteries in a toy for a very long time, bad idea. If you're going to display them, people remove your batteries. I've seen the damage they those batteries can do, so remove them, please. E even cell batteries can leave corrosive uh, effects upon mm, the plastic and material inside, which can be quite bad for a toy and makes it pretty much uh, biological hazard, not well, toxic ha hazard almost. So remove batteries, please. Let's combine him. You can see these two ports, or uh, two packs. There are two ports inside, but you pretty much plug them in, and you're done.
combining them. Together, they make for a fairly impressive figure. Uh, it's a very large vehicle uh, among the Amazon line. Now, when I checked this guy up upon the Teletron Mon wiki, uh, he was listed as a leader, but I'm quite sure I got him as a Mega or Ultra, I'm not really sure. But, oh well, this guy is big, he's huge. He's probably, he is nearly as large as Optimus with his crater. So yeah, he is almost worthy of being a leader class. Uh, overall, I like the design of this half-track APC uh, with the plow. But, he's got one flaw. Yeah, you got a few nice uh, seatings here, nicely detailed, but behind them, I can't really show it on this uh, camera, but you can see his face inside. Yes, he's staring out of his own window. Um, it's not the biggest problem with him because, as you can see, it's barely visible here on camera and you really have to take an effort to actually see his face, but <laughs> it's pr pretty much the biggest flaw this character has in his mouth, besides the plow being a pain in the ass to transform. Let's go on to his normal robot mode. Transformation into robot mode. Pull out his arms. Straighten them out. And fold this part in or out. You can swivel this forward and together. This is kind of a backpack. Separate the plow. his crush piece and his legs can swing out to the sides. So yeah. Uh, Take the crush piece, fold it up. And get it there. On the underside, it's a bit hard to show, but spread this entirely out and move it down. There's an issue here that this waist doesn't really lock together that well, uh, but it works well enough. Pull out the legs for the feet. Take the plow part and snap out the heel part. Peg and post. And pretty much uh, this thing is entirely straight in the out. Same with the other leg. Let's see, a bit more up. His backpack falls down entirely now. Take his arms. First of all, Spread them out to the sides. Then you can take the whole arm assembly and fold it around so it looks like this. Inside you can see his head. Pop it up, press the shield forward. Rotate the arms into position and pull out the hands. Uh, 
All right, here he is in his robot mod. Let's go into him a bit more in detail. <laughs> 